Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com coming off of one of those four or five week colds where your throat won't heal, so bear with me. We're going to look today at how to disable the Windows 10 Activity History permanently. It would appear if you have your Activity History and you have this unchecked, that at least in the latest version at the time the video was done of Windows, it's still collecting. I'll provide links to everything you need down below in the comments including a page where you can verify that you're having this problem and didn't know about it. So what we want to do is we want to go into the registry to disable this permanently. So let's do the regedit by pressing the Windows key plus R and type in regedit followed by enter. Click yes. Once again I'll provide this link below but this is the search bar. This is what we're going to type in or navigate to it. Much easier to copy and paste it. And as you can see, we're down here in the system. What we're looking for over here is a key called Publisher User Activities. Let's get a little more room here. Oops, there we go. And as you can see, if you have it, we'll get to that in a second. I do not have it. So you're going to want to right click and do new D Word 32 bit value. Once you get to that, we're going to want to name that Publish user activities in caps just like that so now we're back to if you have everybody has a key now at this point we're going to want to double click that and change the value to zero if it isn't already as you can see by default it is you want to make sure you're on the hexadecimal which you should be by default and you can click OK now all you're going to need to do is either reboot your computer or log out and come back in. Rebooting's usually my choice. So there you go. That should fix the problem. If you're having it again, check the links below to confirm if you have the problem, to copy and paste in the actual address here. And if you don't want to play around with your registry, we even have a registry file you can download and just merge it with your registry and be done quick and easy. So there you go. Nice, easy, quick, simple little fix today. Thanks for watching as always. Click subscribe. See you next time.